Hey guys, AJ Gore here, and uh, so I, I decided to try something new um, with my Mr. Tackle Box reviews because there's a million people out there on YouTube doing uh, Mr. Tackle Box reviews. You know, so many are the same, so many are unique, uh, but what's going to make mine unique? I don't know. I'm not some good looking young girl uh, reviewing tackle, I'm not some Elite Series Pro or some talented young star. I'm just this like mid 30s balding guy uh, who likes to fish. So I was like, well, what's going to make my review different? You know, because I've done a couple of reviews and nobody cared to watch. So I've noticed that when I do a little bit of partying on Facebook and share some videos, I get a lot of reviews, or not reviews, but likes and, and views. So I thought, you know what? Maybe it's time to do a uh, drunk mystery tackle box review. So, of course, before I do the review, we gotta get drunk. So, I've already had a couple. Dom here, my special guest. He's been having a couple. We're drinking some 8.0 malt beverages like all other sissies drink, I guess you could say. We're not, we'll be drinking beer. We'll probably do Irish car bombs, whatever. Car but bombs. To make up for it, we've got some some moonshine that a friend of mine distilled uh, and gave to me. So let's let's get this review started. So uh, enjoy, guys. Uh, we'll get to the review here after we get a little uh, sauced up. So how much is we gonna spill getting in the shot glass? I don't know. Dude, it don't smell bad. Mm, it's like a cinnamon apple or a cinnamon peach. I don't it's know. Like, it's like but... smelling an apple pie. Nice little shooter. I got you, my friend. Thank you, sir. So we got a guy who knows a little bit about fishing and a guy who knows even less. <laughs> yeah, even less. I know, I know nothing about fishing, but, but a lot uh, about drinking. But all right, let's, uh, let's, let's do this. You always need a partner in crime, so... Yeah. <coughs> Ooh. It ain't bad. That was delicious. Is it apple cinnamon? It tastes like an apple pie. Ooh, it had that. It did taste like a pie. Alright, well, we got a couple more of those to go. A couple more drinks. A whole lot of other stuff to do, so. Night keeps going. Starboard. Um, and then we'll drink and do darts. Can you do a bloopers reel out of this? Because I oh, guarantee sure sure you there's going to be... I'm sure we can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Bottoms up. <laughs> uh, <coughs> <coughs> smooth. That last bit... Dom! Let's do this! Damn dogs. Clinky. Clinky. That's good. Smell bad. Cheers. You can tell my pouring skills have gotten different. But I still didn't spill. Whoa. Ooh. Heavy hand on your Good. No clinky clink? <laughs> Better late than never. Too bad the Titanic can't say that. You obviously never watched Ghostbusters. <laughs> See, now my friend told me that this was some stilled moonshine. I don't know that it is. Because my dad's from West Virginia. So he, my dad. Really? Nice. Clarksburg. Logan. Oh. So my dad told me when he was younger, 
And they used to still some real legit moonshine out there. Granted, it was clear. My dad told me one thing that he learned from drinking moonshine out in West Virginia. That if you throw up something after drinking moonshine that was about this round with hair on it, swallow it back down. Because that's your <laughs> asshole, boy. And this shit ain't that kind of moonshine. I think you man be on that one. It's getting rougher. I don't know, I kinda like it. We tasted that one. Yeah, see the last one I got was like, Wah! <laughs> Alright, more darts. More darts. But we do gotta open this box at some point. Mm -hmm. Why not now? Up for later. Let's do Tiger Bot. Bastard. Damn it, dude. I got a knife. <laughs> Anyways, I just stole your hot dog. I was a brat worse. <laughs> Whatever. You saw you know? I don't know what <laughs> shit is. <laughs> well <laughs> Alright. First things first we have a um Threadfin Shad bait ball crankbait. It's a magnum. This <laughs> thing goes for like sixteen my my bulldog wants to say hello. This thing goes for like almost seventeen bucks, sixteen ninety nine. It's ideal for clear water. This oversized lure has a tight wobble and uses several flash points in a body that drives big base, big baits wild. Long story short, dude, it's a live target. Dude, I got a guy behind the camera, which we won't show. Hand me another brat, because this <laughs> Did he have another hot dog? <laughs> anyway, You're awesome, dude, thanks. It's a live target. All BS aside, Everybody out there loves a the live target because it looks like it's got three damn fish in there. It's got a big ass bill. Which means that sucker's gonna dive deep. Use fluorocarbon, you're gonna dive deeper. Use monofilament, you're gonna stay a little bit higher, not much. Live target's always been known to use good troubles. Sounds like it's got a lot of rattle to it. I didn't think I was gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. Screw it. I want to hear it outside of the package. And if I get a trouble on my finger, whatever. Hopefully it doesn't hit off. You do. A lot of rattle to it. So, I like this bait. I like anything live target when it looks like it's more than one fish. I'm going to throw that. And I like to throw a lot of deep stuff. So, good colors. I dig it. It's cool. So, that alone, to me, makes Mr. Tackle Box worth it. I'm not even gonna try to put that away while I'm inebriated. <laughs> What's next on the list? You wanna read read this one? Sure. Wake up. I'm up. What's up? We're talking to the dog. I'm talking to the dog. So next. We got this thing here called the Pit Frog. I'll be this dude. Got some sort of gravity hook system on it. Gravity Supposed hook? To do like snag free frog fishing. Okay, so I'm thinking the gravity hook. Increased hook up ratios and realistic hollow body what? frog. Hook up ratios? It says realistic. It increases hook up Wait ratios. Wait a minute. Did it say realistic hook up ratios? It said, it said, it said, whatever the hell that is, gravity hook up system. Wait. Okay, optimizes snag free frog fishing and increases hook up ratios. Yeah. Realistic hollow body. Okay. That's what I said. I don't know what you said. I don't know what I said either. 
It's a typical frog, other than the fact that it has one hook. I do like most frogs because they have the dual hook. They have the dual hook set up. How cool would it have been if you pulled fish out of there? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a hell of a mystery to box for both fish out of there. Anyway, so you got the typical legs or the skirting to... I'm going to break it. The skirting to mimic legs. It's weighted on the bottom, got some lead. It's got the squeeze body like just about every other frog on the market. But one hook. So to be honest with you, I would prefer two hooks. But... Who knows? Maybe maybe two hooks is too much. <laughs> uh, I think you might lemon in there, bro. We're good. All right, we're moving on. All right. We got a football jig next. <clears throat> Might be this guy. No. <laughs> That's this guy. That guy. Got it. Nice safe. Now basically, this thing apparently is uh, pretty good for dragging through rocks and other hard bottom areas. Shouldn't get hung up. I'm not going to open this one, but it's got yeah, the whiskers to it. It's going to keep you from, um, forgive me, my kids are having a good time too in there. I'm a dog. Here, take that. Got another brought back there? I'll take another dog if you got one. Okay, burnt on one side and good on the other. Crispy. Anyways. Good. Cool. She's like a jalapeno. Anyways, typical typical jig, football jig, blue and black. I mean, what can I say about this? It's got a hook, it's got whiskers, it's got a skirt. It's like every other football jig we ever see. Yeah. <clears throat> Whatever he said. Next thing we got going on here is this bubbling shaker thing. My hoojum, what's it? I don't know what the hell that is. My range. Like I told y'all, yep, I don't know bubbling about shaker. this stuff. Uh, drop shot apparently is pretty good. At that uh, got drop plenty. shots for the guys that can relax, stare at their graph, play video games, catch fish. It's supposed to have something to do with uh, some kind of texture to make the bass hold on pretty good after they bite it. It's ribbed for their pleasure. Mm. Um, you get eight in the bag, it is ribbed. Drop shot works, I'm not gonna lie. Drop shot works. Drop shot puts fish in the boat. If you know how to drop shot, you're gonna put fish in the boat regardless. So anything drop shot is good stuff. It's boring to me. I'd rather do a million other different fishes. But drop shot works. So if it's about putting fish in the boat, give it a try. Bowling shaker. And you know, I will give this one credit because I mean, for a sample bag in your mystery tackle box, eight baits in there, that's a lot. That's way more than you're going to see in a lot of stuff. I like the stuff. bilingual stuff on it, too. I don't know that bilingual works when it's, like, Asian. Bi Bi it's English and Asian. But isn't bilingual like a Hispanic, like a Mexican kind of term? <laughs> we have to edit that part out of the video. We can leave it in. I don't care. <laughs> Trump will like us. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, that's been edited. <laughs> jo Sheriff Joel will like us. Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, though, armor tube worm stick bait. Uh, supposed to be able to uh, not fly off your hook. Uh, wacky rig this worm all day long. Okay, well, um, this is a stick bait is one of my go to baits. They're saying you can wacky rig it. No kidding. Drop shot. I guess you could drop shot anything. An EWG rig. Um, weightless. Down shot. Carolina and Texas rig. Wacky rig. And um, you know, and a uh, weedless. Weightless is how I'm gonna throw this like crazy. I just don't like the color. But you know what? At night, this would do great. I throw a lot of stick baits. So this isn't a bad bait at all. And that's one thing I can say about Mr. Tiger Box. Is it kind of gets you to get out of your comfort zone. 
Because as fishermen, we are stubborn as can be. Sometimes we need to be forced to go out of our comfort zone. So it's kind of a good thing. What do we got next? Get out of your comfort zone. The next Try thing we got, new. you know, apparently, from what I've read and heard and been told, the thing that scares you the most is going to help you grow. So get out of your comfort zone. Uh, the next thing we got here is Enraged Shaky Head. Some kind of hooky doodad here. Okay. Shaky Head is a guaranteed... Done deal. It's supposed to be pretty durable. Shaky head puts stuff in the boat, regardless. But why is it called the moaner? Well, it ain't got a description here as far as that goes. So it just says something about you know durable, uh, pretty good for slipping and pitching. Uh, pretty good for like any kind of like terrain, really. I guess you know. Box Pro decal, and you get a little scratcher. So, I guess we'll scratch it, but the only thing I have to scratch it with is a knife, so let's see. My key grip is looking at cucumber. What? My key grip is looking at cucumber. I don't understand at all where you're going with the cucumber thing. Maybe that's a good thing for me. I don't know. It's supposed to match up three or more. You know, your little scratcher. As usual, I scratched up two. I didn't win nothing. It's yours. Drink the whole thing. Oh, thank you for being a part of the Mystery Tackle Box uh, Pro. This is my first ever Mr. Tackle Box. Hopefully in the future. Go easy. Oh, you said go easy. That's good. That, that's easy. Hopefully in the future. Quarter ounce difference there, maybe. My eyelids will be heavier. We'll be. Uh, we're pretty inebriated. Anyways, first ever drunk mystery tackle box. Understatement. Thank you for tuning in. Again, please like, subscribe, please. share. Please. And all the subscriptions I can get. I need to grow my YouTube channel, so I'm counting on you guys. And I can promise you, down the road. The more drunk I get, the more Mr. Tackle Boxes I review, who knows what shenanigans can transpire. And special guests, this is Dominic. I'm AJ. Subscribe. Subscribe to his channel. Check out Mr. Tackle Box. Sure. Uh, give me another bra. I got one. No more. I have another dog. No more. Hamburger?